What is going on, Radar Force? Uh, I know that I said the next video would be uh, of my collection, but it's not. Uh, I got a cool package that came in, and uh, has to do with my gaming setup, and I honestly didn't think I was going to get one, but I got one, and I'm hyped because this was like one of the last things I needed to record my uh, gaming consoles and games, especially because I want to do the Dragon Ball, I want to complete all the Dragon Ball games on the channel for you guys, uh, but to cut to the chase and not make a long video, I got a 3DS um, XL, and uh, it's got a capture card built into it. Which is great because I actually posted one episode of um, Harukunaru, I think, uh, for the DS, Dragon Ball Z. And um, I had to use an emulator on that, which sucked because I did not want to use an emulator. Uh, but now I have a capture card, 3DS XL, that I can do the DS games and I can do the 3DS Dragon Ball games on there and any other games I want to play other than that. Because I'm after I do the Dragon Ball games, I probably want to play some like Mario games and all that. A Zelda game stuff uh, that I can stream it to to expand the channel but I definitely want to get the Dragon Ball ones done because I have not played them and I want to experience them because this is what this channel is about but yeah uh, this is sick so this is an American uh, North American 30s it has a Katsu Kitty capture card in there luckily I found a guy on eBay that was selling one it is sick it also came with the R4 card which can you can put DS games on uh, yeah regular DS games on there and play them without actually technically owning the game but yeah you're supposed to um, own the game technically but you know who does that really but it came with that which is super cool although I haven't put any games on it yet but I have confirmed it works uh, dope uh, but yeah if you guys want to see some footage of this I might put stuff up on the screen uh, right after this just to show you what it looks like and um, let me know how you think I should uh, stream it on the thing. So, yeah. Uh, but since I'm going to do this video, I'm going to go ahead and show you my gaming setup before you see my collection. Uh, my complete collection video. I want to go over my gaming setup because that's going to be a little quicker. But after I film this video, I am going to start filming on all of this. But until then, uh, this is what you have. So, let's get to it! Okay, I'm going to start on the oldest consoles first, and on my favorite TV in this room is the Sony Trinitron, um, it's not the F310, it's the something, it's the model below that, it's a Wega, but it's a Sony Trinitron, uh, it, it is very sick, and I got the TV stand for, oh, this is a 32 inch TV, unfortunately, not the 36, but it fits perfectly in my room, and the TV stand is amazing, so let's dive right into the consoles here. All right, as you can see, we already have consoles that you guys all know about. Okay, I have the Ineos, and on top of it is the wireless controller adapter, uh, which is very sick for me anyways, for a modern thing. I, I had to fix it, though. It had corrosion on the springs. Um, and to the right of that, we have this Super Nintendo, and I have the uh, Super Scope adapter beside it, which I need to remove because it does kill uh, the appearance of it. Uh, in the desk. But anyways, I haven't got to that yet. In the bottom we have the N64, Nintendo 64, and to the right of that is the as a Sega Genesis. Uh, I do not own a Master System, so I bought the Power Base Converter for this one, which plays Master System games. Uh, I believe it can play almost every game except for one or two, so good enough for me. I'll probably never play that game that it cannot play anyways. Um... Moving right along, as the Budokai 3 tournament guy says, to the next TV, we have the HD Sony Wega 32-inch TV. I believe it's 32-inch, but it is the HD CRT, which is amazing because it works for the PS3 and the Xbox 360. And obviously with component consoles, Xbox, GameCube, PlayStation 2, and the Wii. Um... So we're going to start on the right side here. So at the bottom right we have the PlayStation 1, which Sega controller needs to go. I have the PlayStation 1 here, which I don't necessarily need because I have a PlayStation 2, but still, I like the PlayStation 1, so it's there. Uh, and to the left of that we have the Sega Dreamcast. And 
to the top right we have the Sega Saturn, which is sick. And then, personally, one of my favorite is the Tower of Power Sega Genesis with the Sega CD and the 32X on the top, which it's very dark in there. You can't even see the 32X, but it's in there. Uh, Sega CD is also very dope. I actually had to change the capacitors in that because the capacitors in there are very crappy. Uh, luckily, everything else works since I've done that. It uh, was not an easy task. I also have these running on the... Um, my camera cut off again on me. Um, what I was saying is I also have all the Sega consoles on the RetroVision component cables. Other than the Dreamcast, they have not released a component cable for that some odd reason. Uh, every one of my consoles are on component except for the PlayStation 1 and the NES. Everything else is on component, which is amazing. Okay, and to the last few consoles here, we have the Xbox 360, the Wii, and the original Xbox, and the GameCube. And last but not least, we have the PS3 and the PS2 Fat Edition. Both of them are fat, actually. Um, I actually have the backwards compatible PS3 in my other room. And something to note is I have the NES car uh, cartridge container, Super Nintendo cartridge holder, Sega Genesis, and the N64 cartridge holder. And I also have a PS1, like... Uh, box of that too but I didn't have room over there uh, I really adore these because I hate storing car cartridges on the shelf uh, and my games are here I don't have a massive collection but just a few here and then in, in another room but those are my main ones as I was saying this odd device you see here is the cross point series switcher uh, it's just a switcher box that can uh, take in composite and component video and output them to uh, eight different outputs. I only have three outputs, two CRTs, and my PC for streaming. I also have the retro tanks behind the scenes behind there uh, that also takes this component input and sends it to my PC to my capture card, which is dope. But yeah, what's so cool about it is right now I have the Wii, uh, the Wii playing Tenkaichi 3 on my HD CRT, my PS2 uh, sending Budokai 3 to my 4x3 CRT. But what's very cool is about the switcher, and it's super sick. It's one of my favorite things about this, actually. So, if I if I do this, let's say I want to do Budokai 3 on both TVs. It's my sixth console, and it's input 1. So before I press enter, I'm just going to show you what happens here. Bam! It's Budokai 3 on both TVs. I can also do audio, but I took the audio out here. As you can see, it's got... Uh, RGBS and audio. I don't have audio due to copyright reasons. I don't want to mess. Okay, as you can see, I have Budokai 3 both TVs. So it's it's so cool because I can actually put the audio on one TV or the other. Don't have to be that TV, but I can put like I can put Tenkaichi 3 on the other one over there if I just do uh, input. Bam! There you got Tenkaichi 3 playing over there and Budokai over here. Or I can do Tenkaichi 3 on both. Any possible combinations with any of these consoles other than the Xbox 360 and PS3. Because I have I have 14 consoles here. Uh, this switcher box can only do 12. Which is fine because I have the HD CRT which has uh, HDMI input on it. And I have this little switcher box to swap between Xbox and PS3. So that works. But every other console besides the 360 and the PS3 are on the switcher box. And whichever one's on, I can output to any of these TVs, including my PC over there. So uh, super, super amazing purchase. You can actually get these for like 100 ish bucks. Uh, but you got to find one with 12 input or how many inputs you need. Uh, the standard is like 8. It took me forever to find one that had the 12 because 12 was perfect for my setup. I have exactly 12 on component and composite. And two on HDMI, which I have the component cables for, but like I said, they don't make one with 14 uh, inputs. And uh, I think standard outputs is eight, even though you shouldn't need no more than five or three to four. Actually, I'm actually using five inputs because, I mean, five outputs because some TV, my, both of my TVs have a composite and component terminal. So uh, one TV takes up two spaces, one for component, composite, component, composite. And then five is my retro tank, which is for streaming purposes. That goes to my PC capture card. Uh, but that's it for the consoles here. I have an Xbox. Uh, I have an Xbox uh, mini fridge here, Xbox uh, Series X mini fridge from Target. And then my handhelds here. I got the PSP, Game Boy Advance SP, a Game Boy Advance, uh, in a DS, a 3DS, uh, Switch Lite, and a Game Gear. The only console that I cannot record uh, video footage out of is my Game Gear. 
I actually have a mod kit on the way uh, that I can mod to output it to my TV so I can stream those games for it. Then all of my consoles uh, will be streamable, which is sick without having to emulate, which is what I want. Okay. All right, guys. Uh, I'm back on my computer. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed my collection video, but like I promised, I'm going to show you some gameplay of this. Uh, right now, I'm using my streaming setup, so my webcam is not as good as my camera. But I'm going to hook this up, and I'm going to show you how to how I use it, which is sick. Um, yeah, so let me get a game real quick, actually. Let me think about actually recording stuff. Uh, I'm going to get a DS game. Okay, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna display uh, Dragon Ball Origins for you guys. Uh, so let's open that up and get the game out. Uh, here we go, Dragon Ball Origins. We're gonna plug that into DS here. All right, I'm going to switch to my other camera here. So let's go to the mainstream. All right, here's my PC. So what we're gonna do is I put this thing in the middle. This is the software that. Uh, Katsukiri, um lets you download if you have a 30s, a 30s capture card. So we're going to open that up. It's going to show we have no capture device found. Uh, so what I do is, first things first, I need to connect a Mel uh, audio jack to the audio jack to here to my capture card so it can capture DS audio. So one thing this capture card does not do is does not capture audio. It only captures video. Luckily, there's an easy fix just to... The easy fix is just to in, get a mail to mail uh, headphone jack and plug it up to your capture card. Uh, then you get a USB Type C to the added chip in the back. And you just plug it in. Installing the capture device, it's going to say no signal because power's off. Okay, so I'm going to turn it on here. Power it on. It should give you a screen on my PC first. I already have this set up on my stream labs. I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like because I love I love this. Like this is the only way to get proper 30s capture. Bam! There's my screen. Dragon Ball Origins. So I'm gonna really quick go to what it looks like when I decide to stream it. So let us do that. And let us do that. So this is what I decided to go with currently right now of how I want to stream it. And you'll see why on Dragon Ball Origins. So let us boot this game up. Uh, Dragon Ball Origins 1 and 2 kind of split the screen. So what you need both of your screens to be on top of each other. Bottom and top because of the image quality. Uh, and since this is a regular DS game, what I do is... I th and what I think I'm going to do is do this. And then do these two because I like to be legit and put an actual DS there instead of a 3DS which fits the resolution better so let's skip this and you can watch the loading scene see what I'm saying how the uh, the DS needs to be there or else it would look weird that's why I've done it like this on this game particularly other games I might do one the top screen as a big screen and the bottom one as a small screen but for Origins 1 2 which is a prime example you kind of need it set up this way or it looks like trash but yeah it looks very sick and I am stoked as you can see oh I pressed the home button like an idiot cancel you can see I am playing I love this I've always wanted a uh, 3ds capture card particularly the 3ds because it plays 3ds games and DS games I already have the GameCube player to play GBA uh, Game Boy and Game Boy Color games so I'm set up I have everything uh, streamable except for the Sega Game Gear other than that we're good and to keep this short I don't want to keep this video any longer as you can tell I'm very stoked about this uh, that's it I hope you guys enjoyed my uh, uh, my video game setup and this new product that I will be using a lot because god I love the DS and 3DS and uh, can't wait to stream some games I am hype this is basically the last thing I needed to stream all of Dragon Ball but to stream all of my consoles, I just need to Sega Game Gear, which I have a mod chip on the way to do that. The guy hasn't been around since 2017, so I have no idea if he's even there or did I just get my money took. Hopefully I get it shipped out in a few weeks, uh, but we'll see. Until then, guys, take care. You guys rock, and I'll see you on the next video, which is the collection unveiling.